Whoa, we are live now. Greetings everyone, good afternoon from here to you. This is Ayode, the fortune of the fortune pest solutions, the fortune pest control, the fumigation expert. Wow, how are you doing there? It's sunny out there. It's been a wee sunny season in Lagos, you know. And um, welcome to this week episode of Know Your Pets. You know, Know Your Pets now. We, we are adopting this method of coming on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and get the message out, teach people live. And also, you can also do a watch back later on the some of the episodes we'll bring it to you. So you can ask live questions. You can, we can all have fun together and learn at the same time. This is your fumigation expert, your pest control expert. On today's episode of Know Your Pets, I'm going to be talking about termites. Termites, and I'm going to be talking about how to protect your home, your property from termite infestation. You know, background termite has over 5,000 species globally. The most disastrous of them was the subterranean termite that you see in most of West Africa, Nigeria, and globally. Termite is said to cost over five billion dollars worth of damages annually. That is huge. They are economic saboteur. They, they, they may not cause disease like uh, maybe roaches, like rat, they may not transmit it, they are not vectors in that regard. In fact, they are edible, they are full of protein, but they, are, they can destroy the economy of a nation. Imagine what a $5 billion worth is, that is the estimated damage that termite is said to cause annually. And it's a pest, termite is an insect pest that has been underestimated for long in our ecosystem. A lot of you say, but I'm in Lagos. Yes, Lagos here has a huge termite body. Abuja, Kano, Northern Nigeria, Southern Nigeria, Ondo State, but huge termite body. Termite love to dwell in iron rich soil, iron. And most of our soil in Nigeria is iron rich. So we have a lot of termite issue. So, um, in fact, many homes, almost a, quarter, a, a fifth of every home in Nigeria have a termite issue. And most termites that we also see these days are also imported, you know, imported via furniture, wooden materials. And because most of the wooden materials that are used in construction and furniture these days are not also well treated, not well treated, and um, they, are, they are prone to these termite issues that we see today and it's becoming really, really worrisome. So come along with me as we enjoy this class together. Ask any question you want to ask, and I will be glad to respond to you on this IG Live session. I your day just my name once again. So, now we're going to the class. How do you protect your home and your property from termite infestation? Number one, I'm going to talk about when you want to do construction of your home, doing pre-construction. This is one area that many construction engineers and builders shy away from. You must treat the soil. There's something called soil treatment. Soil treatment. So you need to call a pest control. It should be part of the building code. And it's actually part of it. A lot of wise engineers a lot of wise builders they actually put a lot of wise quantities of yours is part of the bill of quantity of every construction so the foundation is supposed to be treated i know you plan to do jammer flooring blinding but the soil itself is supposed to be treated to give you guarantee that anything and with white and termite inside the soil is eliminated and terminated so that you you're in future you don't begin to have issue with termite damaging the structures of your home so please put it in mind when you are going with your next construction project, tell your engineer that, have you done the termite treatment of the soil before you start laying the blocks? That's it, that pre-construction treatment. Secondly, treatment of the construction materials. Oftentimes, we pay attention to treating the major log of wools that they use in constructing the roof, but we pay less attention to these ones. The ones that are used in doing the, the ceilings, the POPs, you know, because the guys that came to do the POP, they will come with their own woody material to formulate the plaster of Paris and do the POP. But you often treat them. And those are the woods that majorly have issues with termite. When you see a building that the roof cave in and come down because of termite infestation, it is not usually because of those big log of woods that they use in doing major constructions of the holding the roof together. It's as a result of the one that holds the ceiling, the POPs. Because most of those woods are cellulose rich wood that termite and white ant love to feed on and they are not well treated in fact they are mostly not treated and that's where the issue is mostly so ensure the construction material especially all the wooden material that are going to be used in your site for construction are well treated so that is about pre-construction and, and all the logs then and best of the advice that is it 
German flooring. Even though German flooring, even at it, I've done thermite treatment in homes that are German floored. There could be error in the flooring, and one of those things may happen. And thermite are very resilient animals. They want to go through. They want to go through. Everybody is survivor for the fittest. They are looking for food. They are not about, they are not coming to your home to come and live there. They actually come there to feed. That's why they go and come in. They live in their thermosarium. So they are coming, especially at summer period where there is sun like this. They come to collect the cellulose, the wood, the lignins of your wood. And they are traveling on that, through, the, through the, their tube, through the ground, subterranean thermite. I'm moving back to their thermite colony, thermosarium. Uh, and you know, thermite is a social animal. Like I said, they have the queen, they have the king, they have the workers, they have the soldiers. Whoa. It, a colony has one, a single queen. And in its inner prime, the queen can lay up to 25,000 to 30,000 eggs per day. That is huge and disastrous. You can imagine a colony supplying almost 30,000 or 20,000 number of eggs on a daily basis. That means one single colony, one single Tamsarian can supply termite to entire community, entire estate, entire street. That is why when you notice this, what we call Okiti, in whatever parlance or language you call it, you know, the Tamsarium, the termite colony, you see all those brownish things that grow, that you see, especially some of that have been to the village. You may say, but this is Lagos, but a colony is act, may be active somewhere around the canal, somewhere around an estate, somewhere around it, and that colony is enough to supply the entire community, the entire estate. So if you notice of such, the best thing is to call professional like us to sterilize the thermosarium, to get rid of the queen. When the queen is dead and get the thermosarium sterilized, your problem is half solved already if you achieve that. Take that for, take that, uh, take, uh, put that in mind. So, for already already you're already in a home. I talk about pre-construction, and now for or, for the property that you are there already, your home is there. You are you are doing fine already. Your property is there. Now termite is evading your home. Then you need to contact professionals. We do. There's, there are three ways at the fortune that we use in treating termite. Number one, and the most effective and the most important globally accepted, is foundational chemical barrier. Foundation chemical, we have, we have mash, if the, your home is already concreted or interlocked, we have a driller, we drill a certain feet interval around the perimeter of your home. And then when we drill, we, the drilling has to, go, has to go to almost two feet down so that you touch the red and the brownish soil. You know, because termite will not run through the concrete under the ground, it has to go through the soil because of terrain termite. Then when you drill like that, we inject. So, sub-inject certain termiticide into the ground. This can be in the ground, this kind of chemical we use have up to five to 10 years tested residual effect. That means it can protect your property for up to five to 10 years. We, we inject them around the perimeter of your house, of your property, then we, 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 we blind the surface again, we cover it and then, then the second stage is we go into your ceiling, we go into your roof. If the place has already been infested with termite, then we we'll go and attack with them there from the roof, from the source, to ensure we eliminate them, all the active workers, you know their workers. The workers are the ones that go out. And 80 to 90% of the colony is made of workers because they are the ones that do the work. Blind, they are blind, but they work. They are social animals, very active. You will, if you study about termite, you just enjoy God. You will be, just be fascinated about the, the, the beauty of God, how God creates amazing animal now they understand one another the soldiers protect the colony and the queen the queen is just dead the duty of the queen is just to lay egg and eat is you know you know but the beauty of termite is termite is not known to be able to cause any disease yet but they are economic saboteur they cause economic destruction they destroy own properties they can eat certificate they can you can put your clothes there anything they can eat they can feed on it so give termite no chance around your home you know so your roof and your ceiling fumigation is key with appropriate not just when you're engaging a pest controller if, if you not just engage people because of oh you come and spray my house it is more than that not every chemical has the lifespan of five years or ten years that i mentioned but you can only find such chemical at the fortune at the same time there are certain chemicals that people use things that kill cockroach that kill ants they don't use them for termite they are not termiticide it can kill the termite at the spot, but it doesn't have the residual effect even up to three months, not talk of five years. We are talking of something that has residual effect that can be in the soil for up to five, ten years. And if any termite that crosses through that foundation bar chemical barrier is get eliminated. That is the chemical we are talking about. You know, you can they are premium-based products. So you look forward to such or give us a DM, you can get it from us. You know. So 
Tamite is a huge, is a huge body to a lot of people in Nigeria. Northern Nigeria, hey, you go there. Southern Nigeria, Western Nigeria. I grew up in Ondosi Akure. Tamite is a major threat there. You know, in fact, most of our work up to today in Ondosi in Akure is tamite based. You know, you know, you know so it's tamite based. So I continue. There is a certain myth that a lot of us has carried. With termite. Have you ever seen people use this engine oil, bad engine oil? A lot of our grandma and parents, those days, they would call the mechanic, all the waste oil that they use. They started using it to be, they put it around their foundation. They used to rub their wood. It doesn't work. Engine oil, bad engine oil, is not made for that purpose. It's not a termiticide. There's no chemical, there's no content inside engine oil that make it a termiticide. Stop staining your walls, stop staining your frame, stop using engine oil. It's an abuse of knowledge, kind of. Rather contact professionals, let the right chemicals be used, not engine oil. Engine oil doesn't work. In fact, when you use the engine oil, the moment after three days and the engine oil is dry, Tamad will heat it with the oil. That is what it could be. Another myth that people carry, and I've seen this happen. I've done Tamad treatment in Lagos, Ibadan, Akure, in many places, especially in the western part of Nigeria. They will say, bury a live dog in the compound or in the community or in the estate. Bury a live dog for termites, it is sad that people can carry such a mindset because of termite. It doesn't work. Are you commit, Are you doing rituals for termite? Is termite not an oracle of God? <laughs> you know, it's a mindset that we carry from generations. So those things doesn't work. No, it, they are not science based. They are not in any way science based. So why should you think of putting a live dog somewhere and bury it? So engine or a dog, they don't work for termite. Get a professional, get your house built properly. Even when you've made error, when the house was not built properly, Get continuous treatment for your property. Get your home inspected so that there won't be damage. Your roof will not come down. Your wooden structure will not come down. Your wardrobe. And most of the furniture that we buy these days, I told you about many tamai that we have now in Nigeria, especially in Lagos, they are import based. Import based. So, meaning we import a lot of furniture material and they are not treated. Most of this wooden, even though under international law of shipping of wooden material, you are meant to quarantine and treat every wood, furniture, even ordinary pallets must not cross into another country without being treated and fumigated professionally. And there must be a stamp with it. In Nigeria, the stamp is, is resident with Nigeria um, Quarantine Service. Department. That's where you get the stamp before any woody material can leave Nigeria. They have to treat it with metal bromide or other. You may not know those chemicals. Those chemicals are not in the public domain. They are just restricted because they are very dangerous. They are very restricted. They have restricted use. And they need to be stamped. But most of the wooden material we see, that we receive, maybe they are not even treated. Maybe it's shortcut of some officers or proper due diligence not done. We receive a lot of wooden furniture from all over the world. And they bring ill termite infestation into our country today. That's why in an urban area like Lego, you are saying, but we don't have acting active queen of because everywhere it seems developed. But why is my furniture infested? Why is the wood? Why is the wardrobe infested? Most of them are imported and they, they can move just like the way bed bug move from person to person. They can also move from furniture to furniture as much as they can get food. In as much as it is food, everybody looks for food. That might also look for food. Everybody is about survival for the fitted. Remember Charles Darwin's law principle of survival for the fitted. I do hope these few points I brought to you has, has, has helped a bit and we gain a bit of knowledge today. I I want I will come again next time to share more thoughts with you about anything. If you want me to talk about your fumigation expert, the fortune, to talk about any pest that is of concern to you, put a DM, call me. There's number there zero seven zero three two eight nine six two seven one. I'm going to answer your call directly. You get it? Then or go to the website www.defortuneservices.com.ng. Our our guys will be ready to respond to. You. We have professional guys. The core guys, the admi guys, excellent guys. They are just so excellent in everything. So, and you know, amazing. You remember our product, the Fortune Flocumafin Rat product. These are excellent product. Navdak approved and Fumi set for Fumi set spray. Navdak approved. Mosquito, cockroach, work gecko, bed bug, spider, scorpion. This guy will clear them. <laughs> In a second, immediately they touch scorpion. The scorpion start dancing. Done. Rats, no mercy. Before to flukumafin. So, 
Referrals, talk to, talk to somebody about us that need our services and our product. We'll be glad to respond as professional, as the best way possible that we, we should respond. We put our, we, our, our client are premium to us and we don't joke with them. And we don't, we don't, we don't discriminate. Even if your job is 2000 the more, we are after giving you solutions. Solutions, solutions. And when we give you solutions, we are fulfilled that at least we are able to render the solution. So, and another episode where we're going to meet on Know Your Pest, Know Your Pest, Know Your Pest. By default, tune. see you again next time. God bless you. Ensure your property is protected from termites, from any form of insects. Stay pest free, enjoy your life, and be happy as always. God bless you. Thank you everyone for joining. I see you there. I see you. 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 I see all of you and I hail you. God bless you. See you.